Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. My next guest has cooked for several U.S. presidents, as you can see on your screen. He was an executive chef at the French Embassy, and now Chef Patrice Olivon is dedicated to teaching us all the culinary arts through his online school, Cooking Live. Chef Patrice joins me now in the Great Day Kitchen with more. Welcome and happy Mother's Day thank to you. the mothers in thank your you life. Thank you, Marquette, uh, and thank you for inviting me, of course. Always a pleasure to come here. Well, I'm so Always. glad that we have you because you have had an illustrious career uh, making food for heads of state, and now you're teaching the world through your online classes. But what can you teach us about Mother's Day? It's just around the corner. So, how, do, how do we even start? Yeah, what I wanted to do is make sure today the world is easy and good. Easy and good. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that maybe, you know, the father with the kids can go to the kitchen before the mother wakes up and then uh, surprise her with a beautiful brunch. How Let about that? Let mom sleep late. Yes, exactly. At least one day a year. Okay, right. I love maybe it. Maybe a little bit more. Right. <laughs> okay. Very good. So what I want to do is start with... You come down from your um, bedroom, come down to the dining room, and what you see in front of you is a nice cup of berries. Of course, I have blueberries, strawberry, and uh, uh, raspberry. But you know what? This will not be good enough if we don't put it. Ooh. Oh, that? pop that. So I got some Persico here. Persico. You can use champagne if you like. And look at that. As soon as you wake up in the morning, come on. Don't tell me that you wouldn't like to have that with the foam. Look how beautiful. So you fill the whole cup yes, look with at that. fresh berries. And you can add a little bit of zest of orange. It's nice. And also a little bit of zest of uh, lemon just to pop out. Eh? Chef Patrice, mama needs, a, mama needs some mama more champagne. Needs some more champagne. Can, I, can I just add a little bit? Go for it. Yes, okay, of course. I hope some men are watching. And this yes. is how you spoil. Or maybe some daughters are watching. Yeah. This is how you spoil mom and get the... Party Perfect. started, right. Uh, I'm going to keep that in here for now. So okay. what I want to do the next thing, of course, we got to get some eggs. Making an omelette is kind of difficult and everything, so I'm going to make it easy. Okay. We're going to make a frittata. So we have vegetable already sauteed. You can do that ahead of time. I got zucchini, mushroom, asparagus. Uh, I have the good mushroom, not the mushroom from Colorado. Oh, okay, vegetable. you have the legal mushroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. the legal mushroom. <laughs> dish. Okay, so you have that already sauteed, right? Yes. Cook. We have the eggs in here. I have about six eggs right okay. there. And look how easy it's going to be. We're going to take a muffin pan. Non-stick. Oh, Very yeah. good. Even though it's non-stick, we need to spread it a bit. Okay, this is the easy part. Easy way, because right? you don't have to do anything except put in the oven. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put a little bit of garnish vegetable. The good thing about doing a frittata is you can actually use any kind of vegetable that you like. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, so I that's mean, the difference. The yeah. omelet, it seems like it just takes so much skill. I always mess it up when I when I have seize it. Yes, you know, you know what I, I could teach you how to make an omelet, but that'll be a different show. All right, hold on a sec. Go ahead and start putting the eggs. Start yeah, you're putting good, eggs. you're good. You've done this it before. This is Oops. easy. Oh, this is this is the good part, right? Yes. Don't feed it up too much. Oh, yeah, okay, I enough, messed that enough one up. For okay, okay, I'll fix it. Don't worry. That's okay. Look at that. I'll fix it for you. Okay, All right. thank you. That's there why you you're go. the you're That's why I'm the expert, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to say something also. If you do that at home with the kids, make sure you are supervised, of course, the right, dad or some right. dad, you know, in case. Of course. Because you don't want to pee in the kitchen with the... Okay. okay. Another thing I want to do in here, and listen, this is a great trick. You're going to take some cheese. I have some Mon uh, Monterey Jack right now. But if you cut it in cubes and you put it inside, so when you bake it, it doesn't melt completely. So it gives you like a little pocket <gasps> of cheese. Wow, oh, like yes. a little pop of yes, cheese in your mouth. that's it. So we're going to finish this up for the color. I have some roasted tomatoes. We're going to put it in here. So you got to cook everything. I mean, the vegetable, the tomatoes, prior to the, uh, uh, right. putting the you eggs. You can prep, actually, yeah. maybe the day before. Exactly. Okay. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to pop this in the oven All for right. about uh, 350 degrees for, I would say, 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. All right. With, and with the magic it's of so TV good. right now. It's been 15 <gasps> minutes, right? And look that's how they that. come out. Yeah, look at that. That was easy. We that's didn't do beautiful. anything. You can drink some champagne while this is cooking, no problem. So what okay. you're gonna do is pick one up. <laughs> if pick, you say so. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We pick one up, we put it on the plate like this. Look at that. Right. Hold on a second. We I'm need gonna to put it back. Go ahead. We need to serve some potatoes. <laughs> oh, this is hot. Don't do that at home. Mm. I'm a highly trained <laughs> professional here. Hi. Okay, potatoes. Yes. Easy. We're gonna, what I did today, I chose some uh, little variety of different color potatoes, purple, red, and white. They're in the market available right now, no problem. So what I'm going to do here, very simple again, I have a pan, which I have right here. Okay. We're going to put the potatoes. I got garlic, rosemary. Beautiful. We're going to put a little bit of pepper. 
A little bit of salt, of course. Always season your food, and eh, if you want to have good taste, right? Olive oil is a must. Olive oil, olive right? Oil it doesn't everywhere. stick, and it makes no. it nice and moist. It is good for you. It's okay. Good olive oil. So while you switch those out, I just want you to know we have about 30 seconds. No problem. Put and that I, in the oven. And I want to ask you about your mother, Patrice. You yes. have siblings. Your oh, mother yes. really inspired you to start cooking. Well, what happened is there she is on the screen yeah, right there. Yeah, there go with my brother <laughs> and my sister. This is a great picture. I love it. Uh, she's still alive, of course. She's li living in France. She's 92 years old. Oh, wow. And keep how on wonderful. going. Okay. So I learned how to cook a little bit with her. I was inspired. In fact, the Madeleine today, uh, one of the Madeleine of the, um, her recipe, actually. Yeah, go ahead and So we got and potatoes, that. we got that. Right. And then we have some ham, country ham. Make sure that you have a nice and thick piece. This way it doesn't dry. Okay. What I want to do for everybody today, we're going to put a little bit of honey. Oh, to sweet. Very it. simple. Sweet and sour. Okay. Because when you put sour with the sweet, you kind of cancel the sweetness and you balance it. So and that's vinegar for the vinegar, sour. Vinegar, just regular vinegar. You can use any type of vinegar that you like. So you saute your ham a little bit, not too much because it'll dry up. And then look at that on the plate. It's Instead beautiful. of putting a slice of bacon, I think it's much better. A little bit of country ham. And then let's put some green so in As here. you plate that, before we, yeah, go, we go, I just want to say you are launching your online orders of Madeleine's yes. today. They are so beautiful. And this is actually the that. first food you ever made. I was about six or seven years old. I was coming back from school and uh, I had nothing to eat. And so I was looking for cookies. I found the recipe. I met the Madeleine. Et voila. Et voila. And here you are today. C'est magnifique. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for teaching us how to make Mother's Day brunch. We'll be back with more Great Day Washington after this.